Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Paper Trail. Now this was developed and published by Newfangled Games and is usually available for £16.24 slash $19.99 but you know always look for a sale and hopefully it could come to Game Pass one day too, mwahaha. So Paper Trail, this is basically a top down puzzle adventure um, where we have to, well, effectively get to the next level all by using the paper folds. You'll see exactly what I mean in a minute. So to, to basically get through the level, you have to use the uh, papery, foldy bits. Yeah, I'll let you know in just a second. Um, as for achievements, so we have a few miscellaneous ones, basically more or less one on each level. We have to find... Um, now, there's only two levels which have two origami pieces, and the rest have five origami pieces that we have to find. Um, some are very well hidden as well. And uh, that's effectively it. So just a few little miscellaneous ones. Uh, but there are going to be there's going to be another one which we're actually going to grab straight away during the first cutscene. So this will take about two to three hours to do. So with that being said, then let's do it. And of course, as I said. You can skip the cutscene if you want, but you will miss an achievement. So what you need to do then, with the right stick, move, move the whole, uh, move your cursor, and then with the right trigger or left trigger, whichever one you want, just pop them out. That'll go through to the next one. Again, do not skip any of this cutscene. So there you go. You'll just fold the papers back, and it'll go to the next one. Now, when we get to this screen here, make sure to press the X button once. So go ahead, press the X button. And you will find the first secret of the game. Um, and the first achievement of the game, which is The Story Unfolds. And this is for finding the memory of Paige and her dad. There it is. Old, uh, bigger Mario. This is basically Mario when he grows up and finally stops trying to rescue the princess. He has a daughter called Paige. It's a me, a Paige. Anyway. So, as I said, we're not going to skip any of these cutscenes. We're just going to keep on doing uh, what we're doing. Now, in terms of commentary, there's not really a lot that I can say. Um, in terms of, you know, obviously you can fold you can fold the paper from the top to the bottom, left and right, and then into the corners as well. Um, but again, there's really not a lot for me to say. It's just a case of I've tried going as sort of quick slash slow as I can, so you can uh, hopefully... So you're hopefully able to keep up. Um, but there's really no point me going right to the right, to the left, now the up, now the downer. Ah! Because you'll all eventually get annoyed with my voice. But I will uh, just for this first level right here. Now, in terms of some of these achievements, you do have to have conversations with um, whoever it is. Although if you don't have these conversations, then the uh, miscellaneous achievement may not appear. And this is the first example here. So we head to the left, put, go to where the arrow is. And again, what we need to do is just grab the top one, fold it down, and then we can walk across, go to the other side. Now, again, you have to make sure that you're out of the already folded piece. Otherwise you can't fold it back up, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so that's what we'll be doing the entirety of this game. It is a very, very lovely game. Uh, but go ahead, make sure to speak to L Beardface a couple of times here. Slippery little blabbers, aren't they? Yes. So we're going to uh, basically keep talking to him until he mentions the cat Ollie. Like, that's exactly where he just done it. So, uh, yeah, once he's mentioned the cat, that should be fine. So now we can head back. We're going to go to the right. Past uh, Mario and the uh, newly found dyed-haired princess. Um, now, it's always worth speaking to every character, and I'll tell you why in just a minute, but as we head down here, after speaking to Aunt, uh, Auntie Luigi's missus, we'll head down. You can see the cat there on the bottom left-hand corner. Pet him once to get the paper tail achievement. And again, if you didn't speak to the fisherman um, about the cat, he won't actually appear. So uh, drag the paper trail from the right, or the paper, and then put it back to the left. Have a look at Luigi's Misses. I don't know if it's Luigi's Misses or not, but you know. 
And then we will head up again. We're going to have a little conversation. Now, basically, there's an achievement for finding all the secrets, um, which you will get throughout the entirety of the game. But I, I'm genuinely not sure if having a conversation with everyone counts. Um, so it's definitely worth just having co uh, a good conversation with everyone that you come across. There's not many people in the game. Uh, so grab the top one and put it down slightly. Then the bottom one, put it up. And then this is where we'll find our first origami. So yes, all the origami are in folded up pieces of papers like that. So that's the first one done. So uh, just grab the bottom piece and we can head back down. And the top piece we can pop back up. And now we can just get rid of Auntie Luigi's missus. And then we will be able to continue on our way. Now sometimes you may need to... It, if the path is blocked for, for whatever particular reason, you just need to literally move the paper over, you know, a little bit more. Um, and it is very easy to do that. Uh, so head down, as you can see by the arrow, just where it is pointing on the uh, rail track. And that means now we can get over to the other side. It's a very... This game is generally so well thought out. And it is... It looks lovely and it's very well thought out. Um, but grab that, um, the paper, we can head down. We're going to get another achievement here, by the way. Oh, and also, there is an achievement for completing the game in four hours, which is actually, generally, a, that's a lot of time. So don't worry and don't panic if you get uh, do something wrong or whatever. You have generally a lot of time. So uh, what we'll do is grab that top corner piece and bring it down all the way. And then, again, we're in the papery bit. Again, it's, it's very easy to sort of overshoot uh, one of the papery bits, if you know what I mean. So what we need to do is head all the way down, pop that one back up, and then we will speak to uh, Winslow. And then all you're going to do is literally keep talking to him for about a minute or so until the crumply old man achievement unlocks. So just keep talking to him until he tells us to skedaddle, because... Uh, He's got some poops to make or something. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever old people do these days. Anyway, keep talking until the achievement unlocks. Yeah, it may take a little minute or two there, but eventually, uh, for talking to the Pringles can guy, he, um, for annoying the old Pringles, it's basically saying, why don't you go and work for walkers, huh? Anyway, uh, pop the top corner <laughs> so the lighthouse is all together, and then pop that one back up. Drag it from the right over to the left there to get the next origami and you will get uh, the achievement there for collecting all of the origami from this first level. Again, there is two on this one and a another level, which is the autumn level, and the rest have five pieces of origami in it. Again, always check the timestamps um, in case you get lost or, you know, in case... Well, just in case you uh, need to see where the origamis are. So this is basically now the end of the first level. So we've got uh, we've we've annoyed Pringles Can Man. We've spoken to Luigi and his missus, and now we're saying goodbye to Papa Mario and uh, Papa Mama Princess Peach. So again, like I said, you'll know it's the end of the level. Um, we basically have to find each memory in. Uh, in each of these sort of uh, cutscenes. Again, don't skip them. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. But I wasn't allowed to go. They were worried it was too dangerous out there in the real world. So that's how I ended up here, a runaway, with a long journey ahead to the big city. I just hope that when I graduate, they'll be there, you know? But for now, I've just got to focus on getting out of here. Is that 
dad snoring in the other room? Well, that's my cue to leave. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and follow the arrow. Uh, you're gonna get past the deer right here. Have no fear, my dear. We're gonna drink a beer and get past this deer here. Um, eventually, but uh, yes, yeah, so... Also, the other achievement I forgot to mention is, from now on, do not press the Y button to show hints. Do not. There you have to do it, which is fine, so the, um... So you won't miss out on the achievement, you have to do that. Um, but yeah, so from now on, do not press the Y button in order to, to get any hints. Now, in terms of this next level with the cave, uh, go ahead and speak to this broski. You can see where the two dice, assumingly resembling dice, are lit up. So obviously, as we're going through the level, to get to the next path, you'll obviously have to fold the paper in such a way where you can get, as you can see, the number twos are lit up, which gets us going on a path. So that is basically the main mechanic for this level. There's also another couple of achievements as well. Um, the first one, you can probably see the stacking stones just in the top corner, top left corner. There's three of those that we need to get rid of. So again, it's literally just a case of, you know, pausing and seeing what I'm doing and uh, just following along as best as you can. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, there was a, just a little bit of an edit there, but all I done was roll the uh, middle, basically the big middle piece, and just roll that down so it looks exactly like this. And um, that's how we can get the boulder over to the old switching bra. The old lever. That, that, no, the old uh, thing in the ground. Sneaking the grease. And also, before moving on, make sure to unfold that piece and then knock these last stones down. That should get you the folding stones. Gather no moss, a shivamente. And plus, we should get the last origami here as well to complete that one. And then we'll finish the cave level. We found a quiet corner of the cave and settled in for the night. My new friend promised to deliver my letter home, now that he knew the way back. As I lay by the fire, I fell into a deep sleep and dreamt of home. It was a cool winter morning, and the sun was rising over South Pole. Two twins had arrived earlier that night. A perfect girl called Paige, and a stinker called Oscar. They were inseparable. Maybe I'll have to tell you more another time. It's already morning. We packed up our things and put out the last embers of the fire. After saying goodbye, I set off into the swamps alone. Hopefully there's no alligators. Welcome to my swamp. Just as Shrek 5 has been announced, get out of my swamp. No. Anyway, uh, sorry, just completely uh, going off the thing right there. So we're going to get another miscellaneously slash kind of missable achievement. Nothing's truly missable because you can use world select at the end of the game or after you've completed every level. So basically, keep going ahead and speak into these little dude skis in the boat skis. And then eventually, uh, one frog will pop out like that. And the Fold Shoulder, very creative achievement names in the game as well. The Fold Shoulder achievement will unlock. Now, there are no more miscellaneous achievements left in this level. So it's literally just a case of, again, following along and grabbing all the origami as we go too.
So that's Shrek Swamp all done now. Uh, so we're going to get another miscellaneous achievement during this cutscene. So uh, once we just nip through this part, it's going to be on the next picture with the... Well, not this one, but as soon as we get through to the next one... Here it is. So basically when her brother's a little boy, we're going to press the X button again on this picture. Make sure to do that now, and you will get the next achievement there for finding the deer in the sky. And then we're off to the forest, which again has no miscellaneous achievements. It's just a case of, once again, collecting all the origamias and completing the foresters. He just disappeared. It was like he slipped through the cracks of the world right in front of me. Does that make sense? Anyway, sounds like another storm's rolling in. I read there should be a village north of these trees. If we hurry, we might be able to make it before sunrise. Bubbly 
Did you keep the body put by the inside the nest? We nervously glanced around. Something didn't feel right. As we searched for the way down, a shadow crept over us. Before I knew what hit me, I was tumbling through the branches below. As I fell, the present gave way to the past. I remembered the first disappearance. Oscar had vanished. Everyone was worried sick. We searched the village high and low until finally... Dad found him playing with bullfrogs down by the water. How he got there? Nobody knew. Everyone was just pleased he was safe. For now. Several hours later, I finally came around. The rain had eased, and I could feel the warmth of the sun. A village was just up ahead, a sense of anticipation hanging in the air. Maybe there's a spare bed for the night.
As the villagers gathered round the fire to begin the festivities, the elder took me to one side. He leaned in and whispered that while trapped between, he'd seen unimaginable things. That I should be careful to prevent the same thing happening to me. The party carried on around me as I laid down to rest by the fire. Before long, the laughter of the villagers faded away. I awoke in a dream, adrift in what felt like limbo. Is 
this what the Elder spoke of? A familiar presence waited at the edge of the world and beckoned for me to follow. I awoke to the cool touch of raindrops on my face. It was morning. The whole village was awake. Had they even slept? They offered some frog tea, which I sipped reluctantly. With my mind still swimming from the night before, I bid them farewell. That wasn't quite the relaxing night's sleep I was hoping for. Right, oh, now we're on to the ruins. And first thing we're going to do before doing anything, we're going to head down. We're going to knock that uh, vase right off the steps. And that's going to get us the uh, paper in the cracks achievement. So smash that one down. For some reason, this took about 45 seconds or so uh, to unlock. So if that's the case, just wait longer. Uh, but anyway, yes, once you've knocked over that vase, the achievement should unlock. And then you can carry on. As always.
An ancient door blocked our path forwards. With a low rumbling, the stone plinths shook and then slowly parted. Peering into the small opening, a sense of claustrophobia took me back. After the incident, we were confined to the house. Mom and Dad were too worried for us to leave. As the hours dragged by, it felt like the walls were closing in around us. We stared longingly out the window, and I asked Oscar how he vanished. He said, if I promised not to tell, he'd show me. Our eyes adjusted to the darkness. Was this what she'd been searching for all these years? I offered to stay and help gather artifacts, but she insisted I carry on without her.
I stepped over the broken glass towards the window. Those kids might So yet again, there is another miscellaneous achievement in these pictures, not this one. So we're going to do the folding of the folding, and it's going to be in the next picture where we're going to again press the X button to find the comfy cat chilling with a pillin. What well, kind of looks like it's appealing. Banana peeling. No, anyway, it's this picture. Press the X button here and you'll get the picture. Perfect achievement. Growing up, though, it was just the two of us. So we had to make do with each other. He'd show me how to create these doorways. And together, we'd sneak away on adventures to far off places. Mum and Dad never even knew we left our room. Once I'd gotten down to safe ground, I spotted a sailboat tied up nearby. With the city on the horizon, I sailed off across the ocean. Did you hear that? I could have sworn I heard someone calling for help. Will you beam him? Why? I said, where's the pip dog one Brendan? Where when tints and bim tim went tim. I'm trying to move him. 
thinking when he didn't wet it in one. CC, hey, CC, boy. Well, that's why this went in, but it wants it waiting.
Tin bim tin wem tin. Shwee see see wem swine wem see see wem tin twim wem tin twim. Wem swats and dice and wem bon ash and wem wem. Try and him on him. Shing din one, he did one bar bar bar.
Fishing Jim Pin One Pin Jim 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 Babadi pretty to put a boob. Boob. Stepping foot into the fishing village, the seafarer's wife came running. They hadn't seen each other in so long, but she'd never given up hope. They invited me in, and we shared stories over dinner. She told of her worry. That first night her husband didn't come home. And I spoke with Oscar, and the day he too disappeared. We'd taken one of our many trips far away, but Oscar wanted to go even further this time.
crossing the river, he lost his footing and slipped. Before I knew what happened, he was gone. And that was the last time I saw my brother. I like to think he's waiting for me. On the other side, you know? After talking long into the night, the tide lowered, and a path opened up across the sea to the city. I said my farewells, and made the short walk across to the harbor. According to this map, the university is just ahead. We finally made it.
때문에 이 외부다 맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨맨
A quick fold in space and time, and I'd be home. They looked at me confused. I'll visit soon, I said. Hey! So there we have it then. So you should have got now two achievements, a uh, clean sheet for completing the game without any hints and folding under pressure, completing a new game in under four hours. Like I said, you should have plenty of time pausing. Uh, it was obviously absolutely fine. So hopefully you would have got those two. Now, in terms of the last two achievements, the uh, Dear Diary one, we're going to get straight away. And after that, once we skip the cutscenes here, um, you should also get the easier on paper achievement as well. For whatever reason, it didn't unlock for me, um, even though, so if we just head to the left straight away, you're gonna find the deer on the bridge. So this is where you should get the final two achievements, the deer diary, and then you should get the easier on paper for finding all the secrets. Again, for whatever particular reason, it didn't unlock for me. Um, but uh, there's not a lot of information online or anything, but what I did find was if you go back into the autumn level, so basically if you press the start button, you can go back into the autumn level by pressing world select, seeing which ones you missed, and just petting the cat again. Apparently that seems to work, but I tried loads and loads and nothing appeared to work for me. So hopefully it unlocks for you and then that'll get you the 34 out of 34 achievements and then that will be all done. So thank you so much for watching guys and gals. Really hope you enjoyed this very underrated game so far. Hope the guide helped as well and if it did of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love.